And the northeast of England, which is still strong in your mm. voice. Yes. Um, but in terms of the impact it made on you, I mean, I have relatives from there, and it's it's a tough pla a tough industrial place. Mm -hmm. Also humorous, but it's um, there is a strength there which you seem to sure. you have. I had no, I had so much fun up there right through my, my whole childhood, and we lived in Tynemouth, Blythe, Stockton on Tees, um, Sh South Shields, and then a across in the Lake District, Keswick, and I don't remember it being tough. People like to say that, but that's bullshit. It was part of... It's the Geordie legend. It's yeah, tough, it's a, it's a tough part of people. You, it's yeah. part of the way you live, you see. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I thought it was a pretty normal childhood. My, my parents were extremely supportive of anything I did. So I never had one of those hard childhoods. <laughs> <laughs> and Julius, you were 40 by the time the Julius came out. So it, as you suggested, it was a long struggle to become a director. But you'd, start, you'd started off uh, from the art college, essentially, as a designer. Yeah, design would take me to a traveler in the United States, and it was like a Fulbright. So I got a very good pass at the Royal College, and uh, I traveled to the United States. They said, where do you want to go? I said, I want to go to New York. They thought I was going to enter Madison Avenue and expand into the world of advertising, graphic design, and all that kind of thing. But I'd taken a lot of photographs, which were very much part of my diploma show. I mean, big ones, 2016. So I was living now with a camera, and pretty serious photographs, actually. So I fancied fashion, right? Because I thought the world looked pretty attractive and all those pretty girls. And I came to New York, and when I came to New York, I first guys I called up was all the major photographers like Art Kane, Bert Stern, serious advertising people like Herbler Ballin, Ivan Sh Shermayev, um, uh, major players in Madison Avenue. And the most impressive thing about it was I'd make a call and within he said, what are you doing for lunch? I said, uh, nothing. So I, and I was living in the YMCA on 7th Avenue and 34th Street, pretty grim. And uh, so I suddenly meet these very f great photographers who said, yeah, I'll give you a job. But I'd, I'd been seeing um, as an assistant. So it's funny how life goes, because if I'd taken a job with Bert Stern, said, you come back in three months, I'll give you a job. And I'd have become a fashion photographer at a high level. And there would never have been the movies? Well. Maybe, no, yeah. probably not. Yeah. Um, but. It, Instead, I got a job with um, Don Pennybaker and Richard Leacock, um, where I was working in the editing rooms. Basically, I was getting, I was, I was seven years at art school, school as first class honors, right? And I was suddenly buying coffees and hamburgers for people's lunchtime. <laughs> and so I did that for almost a year on my traveling scholarship. But I was watching everything that was going on with the editors. And I worked on um, primary with the JFK. And were you consciously learning? during this spell? I knew I wanted to make movies. Mm. And um, I'd uh, made one movie at the Royal College of Art just out of, because there was a bollocks in a cupboard and I grabbed the bollocks. Is the boy, the boy and the bike? Yeah, my, my, I told Now me. this is your, which we should raise, that your family is unusual in having produced two big film directors, yeah. uh, your brother Tony, who sure. also worked as an actor on that film for you. Sure. But what, is, is there any evidence of a, of a celluloid gene or a drama gene in the family? No, nope. it was actually dragging him out of bed at 6.15 every morning saying, get up, I've made breakfast. You're, and I ruined his summer. I ruined his, actually ruined his summer. We shot that for six weeks with him as the actor and chief equipment carrier. Go get the sandwiches and get me six, five cigarettes because you buy five cigarettes. And, those and, um, and then he'd be standing there shivering because all those summers up there were always freezing. And we made Boy in the Bicycle. 